Hi, I'm Milo from freshenyourphoto.com, and today we're going to look at handling enlargement of photos. Our three sizes of paper that we have to choose from nowadays are 4x6, 5x7, and 8x10. But the standard sizes are actually different shapes. Not everyone realizes they're not just different sizes, they're different shapes. Let's look at it. 4x6 is tall and thin. 5x7 is looking a little wider. 8x10 is getting closer to a square. And the math holds out for that. If you go to a four by six and double those numbers, double four and you get eight, but double and six, you don't get 10, you get 12. So they're different sizes and shapes. Back in the seventies, we were dealing with three by fives. That's a completely different size to blow up and Polaroids don't even get me started, but there are ways of dealing with all of these. So we're gonna look at that. The drugstore will tell you that they can print any of these sizes from your photo and it's sort of true, but I want you to understand why it's only sort of true. If you have a shot like this, and you tell the drugstore, I'd like an eight by 10 of this, they'll say, sure. And what their computers will do is take the middle out of it in the shape of an eight by 10, copy that off and print it in the eight by 10 size. But you can see with this shot, we lost the top of the head and the chin, and that probably isn't going to make you happy. So what we're gonna do is look at other methods we can use to make the shots right. The four ways we can get you from your photo's current size and shape to the size and shape you want. So the first way is with cropping properly. Some shots lend themselves to better cropping. If you have a shot like this, again, the drugstore is just going to take the middle out of it and cut her hands out, cut her hips out. But because we're doing it manually using Photoshop, we're going to take the right part of the picture. So when it's copied and enlarged, it's just what you would have wanted. That works great for this shot, but not so well for this shot. As we said, we would lose the top or the bottom of the picture. So we're going to look at other methods we could use on this shot. The first one is called stripe padding. With stripe padding, what we do is we take that four by six, blow it up all the way we can up to that 10 inches, which leaves us with six by six, 6.6 6 on the sides. And then we add stripes of white or black to get it out to the eight by 10 shape. That works great for framing just like that, or you can get the scissors out and cut those stripes away if you don't like them. This is a good method, but some people don't like the stripes and still want the right shape for framing at eight by 10. So for that, we have frame padding. With frame padding, what we do is we take that same four by six and we do blow it up again, but not quite as big. We stop somewhere around 9.2. Then when we do the padding on the sides, we get a little bit of white all over. Two of the sides are wider than the others, but it still looks more purposeful, like matting on a picture and looks nicer for a lot of people inside that eight by 10 frame. So that's frame padding. The last one is extensions. Sometimes when we have a shot that has room for growth and more artistry, we can do that with Photoshop. In this shot, not only did she want color, but she hated that her feet were cut off. Well, we had to get that 7.2 up there anyway. So we created feet for her. Using Photoshop while we were colorizing it, we created the feet. In this shot, besides needing a lot of cleaning up, it was the wrong shape again. And he didn't like the fact that the photographer cut his head off years ago. So we used Photoshop and not only fixed his head, but extended the paneling. All the damage is gone. And now it's the right shape for eight by 10, just using those extensions. Now I won't lie, it costs more to do extensions because it's more work, but some extensions are easy, some are hard. Talk to us for your shot. So now you know your four options, cropping, stripe padding, frame padding, and extensions. They're all the right choice in certain situations, and we look forward to helping you figure out what's the best choice for your photo. Check us out, freshenyourphoto.com.